Hey guys, Zell here, and welcome back to some more Nike, where, as you can see, yeah, I did it. It's not the Viper one. This one, you get more value out of what you spend. I don't have Viper, but I do have Alice. So I figured, why the heck not? There's only three days something left on this anyways. Might as well, right? All right, Alice. Here you go. I remember how to do this. It's been a while. The costume has now been changed. Ikitai tokoro desu ko? Takademo ureshi desu. Now, technically she calls us rabbity, but technically she's also kind of a rabbit girl in a way. Speaking of, there is a very, very uh, nice looking white haired rabbit girl that I really want that apparently is going to be the next banner. Sadly, I don't have anything to pull for her, let alone do I want to? Yes. I very much so would want to pull for Block. I, I very much so do. But we have nothing for her. What we have right now, and the tickets we just got, and everything else, needs to be saved for the near collab. I... Look, if there's anything to make me spend my gems, it was gonna be blonde. Cause my god, she looks great. So does her sister, but yeah, we'll we'll get into the story for them, cause I believe they show up in chapter 22. But for now, this episode was just for me to show this, and let's go do Dorothy's story now. Like I said, I would. And then I'll show you guys the chapter 21, and then we can get into enjoying 22, preferably before this event comes out. How, how many summoning tickets do I have as well? Cause yeah, it's gonna be a pain. So currently three six nine, we have almost twelve thousand gems, which is four ten shots. So we have enough for eight ten shots. That number is not enough. I did how many ten shots for Dorothy? Then again, Dorothy was, what, a 1% character? So arguably, you'd think that we'd have a better odds of getting, like, abnormal to be whoever else comes along with her. I'm assuming that we're getting 2B, because if we get a near collab but we don't get 2B, that is just not right. We need to get 2B. We need her to have her dress break. As a, either a costume or she starts with her dress break. And then if people want to dress, they could do it like Makima and have the dress separate from her dress break version. And then yeah, everyone would be happy. I'm assuming we would get A2 with her. Or the, or the girl, I think, from regular Nier? Or they could do the first ever du duo uh, Nikkei's in one character, which would be uh, Devola and Popola. Maybe? So yeah, either way, these need to be saved and I almost accidentally just clicked on that 10 shot. How many regular tickets do we have? 25. So when Blonde comes out and her banner's over, if I haven't sinned on her banner, these tickets will be going towards her. I say that, they'll be going towards whatever character, you know, we get, but apparently she's Tetra. And that means she'll be competing with Viper. I just realized that. She'll be competing with Viper. Jesus Christ. Come on! I mean, hey, at least we have a 2 out of 5 chance if we get Tetra to be a character that we don't have and want. Because if it's Viper, I might spend another 20. 
I don't want to. But hey, we can try to get a full, you know, bunny girl team. Because we have blonde. Alice is technically a pseudo bunny girl. Viper's bunny girl outfit. Noir. Her sister. Blonde sister. That's four. We don't just need one more. Now, would they be good enough for the entire team? Who knows? But it would be a full bunny girl team, technically. And now, I need to stop talking and gushing over bunny girls and actually go to Dorothy's, you know, story. Because that's what we all came here for, right? I am very curious to know what Dorothy is going to be doing with us. Alright, here we go. The courtyard where loneliness dwells. Time to see what else makes Dorothy tick. After passing in Herod's test, I came back to Ed Eden and stayed for a few days. Eden is a veritable paradise, one that the Ark inspires to become. Wide open grasslands and fresh air. Trees abundant with fruit. And a breathtaking courtyard. And with, and with, with her standing right in the middle of it. Dorothy. Anike residing in Eden, who is angelic in many ways, yet can turn it on a dime and become callous if the situation calls for it. She usually remains in this courtyard, standing in the spot where the sun shines brightest and gazing off into the distance. She's alone right now. She seems so. What are you looking at? Do you have something to say to me? I was just admiring the apple tree. <laughs> I was just admiring you. <laughs> Me? Don't you already run around with plenty of other Nikkeis? Uh, yeah, I, I suppose. If you have nothing to contribute to this conversation, I'll be leaving. Dorothy leaves. My gaze lingers on her figure. Then shifts to the courtyard. The sun shines warmly on the place where she stood. Looking at what should have been a pleasant scene. Instead filled me with a sense of overwhelming sadness. How come Dorothy is hanging out in the courtyard by herself? Beat me. No guesses or anything. She's always been like that. She goes there whenever she isn't on a mission. But why? I just told you I don't know. How should I know what she's thinking? Why are you so curious all of a sudden? She seems lonely. What are you? An amateur therapist? How oh so kind of you to be concerned. Whenever I see her, all I feel is exhausted and uneasy. Why is that? Aren't you in the same squad? I never said she wasn't. She may be one of us, but she is different. She was in the goddess squad. I'd rather avoid Nikkei's from that squad. They aren't exactly the easiest to get along with, are they? I mean, come on, she was there when the Ark was first completed. She's like, ancient. <laughs> it's weird. She was? He didn't know that. Once the Ark was finished, the Ghana squad stood guard at the main gate. They were to prevent any raptures from infiltrating the Ark. I heard a lot of Nikkei's got killed. She's one of the few who went through that hellhole and lived to tell the tale. Pretty heavy stuff. The only reason I say she's hard to get along with is because she's the one behind Eden. Eden is her creation. Yep, and for that reason, everyone will do their utmost to please her, no matter what she wants to do. Oh, you just reminded me of something. I should have never told her that I found that damn thing. Oh, so annoying. What thing? Dorothy has been looking for it for ages. The last time we were wandering the desert as part of a mission. I was sure that I saw near a radio tower that was painted red. When I got back, I decided to tell Dorothy about what I'd seen. Instead of being thankful, she got mad at me for not bringing it back. 
Give me a break, it's not like I didn't try. There was no time. The moment I saw it, raptures were hot on our trail. And we had to get out of dodge. If I could have, I would have brought it back for her. Why don't you go back and get whatever it is you're talking about? I tried, but the next time I was out in the desert, I couldn't remember exactly where it was. I searched and searched, but there was no sign of that radio tower whatsoever. What else could I do? I busted my hump trying to get that thing for her, and she hasn't shown any I one iota of appreciation. It really grinds my gears. At any rate, that's where she and I stand, so quit asking me about her. If you're so curious about Dorothy, why don't you talk to her yourself? Ask her why she's always standing there by herself. Spend some time with her. No relief. Spend some time with her. Yeah. The next day. I can't get that image of a solitary Dorothy out of my mind. So I head back to the courtyard. What are you looking at? Huh? I'm not looking at anything. The day after. Can I have that apple that's behind you? Huh? Oh, sure, take it. After a week of pestering her in this fashion, she finally reaches her boiling point. Why do you keep coming here? Because you look cold. Me? What even are you saying? I nod. I don't know what's gotten into your head, but it is climate controlled. Not to mention the fa that fact that I'm an EK. I don't experience cold like humans do. I meant that you look lonely. You think I'm lonely? Don't be ridiculous. Is that why? You've been coming here every day. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you had a reputation for sticking your nose into other people's business. But this is beyond the pale. Lonely, so you think I'm lonely. And that's why you've been coming here every day. That's very kind of you. Uh -huh. Do you really care about me that much? I mean, I did get you LB3 for a reason. Although I wasn't actually expecting to. Of course. Very well. Since you apparently care so much about me... Why don't you and I take a walk together? Right now? Why not? Since you've so kindly pointed out how pitiful my situation apparently is, I'm feeling a bit despondent. So I wanted to go out for a stroll. Surely as someone who cares about me, you wouldn't let me go outside all by myself. Let's go. I see I didn't have to twist your arm. Perhaps you really are a caring person. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. What, what, uh, get a commander from the Ark al all alone? So you could, um... Try to find your way to get inside? One way or the other? As Dorothy and I head out of it, and, uh, the unforgiving desert stretches out before us. This is the not-so-welcoming locale for our stroll. You want to talk th walk through the desert? What's the matter? You're the one who is so afraid of me being cold. So I chose the hottest place I could think of. I mean, the bedroom would have worked too, but okay. You don't like it. You remind me of a flower I've been wanting to see for a while now. We'll head back once we've found it. What kind of flower? That flower is the one I have been searching for a long time. Noah said she saw some of the out in the desert. I happen to have some time off. And you invited me out for a walk. So there you have it. Finding that flower will assuage my loneliness. That I can guarantee. Where exactly can we find this flower? That is the all-important question. I'm not 100% certain, but if we head in this direction for, say, about five hours, it may show up. 
no one said that she saw it close to it in. Five hours? What? Is that too much to ask? Even your kindness is its limit, I see. After all, you are still human. The most selfish of all creatures who only thinks of their own interest in little else. There it is. It's not that. If you're not up to it, feel free to go back. I can go by myself. No, I'll go with you. Well, well. How kind of you. Try to keep up. Dorothy takes a few long strides forward. Not once during our sojourn into the desert do we stop to rest. The blistering sun beats down on the desert sands. It feels like my throat is on fire. Dorothy doesn't even look want to look back at me during our jaunt. I find myself thinking about how nicely the other Nikkeis treated me when we were out on a sidewalk. <sighs> my breathing is becoming labored. My throat is dry as a bone. Dorothy. Yes? <laughs> I can't go on. You're walking too fast. You've got to be kidding me. You call this fast. Then again, humans are typically slow as slugs. Perhaps this was an oversight on my part. I have not traveled with a human in some time. So I've been neglecting to take proper care of you. We can stop and rest for a while. Thank you. I plonk myself down on the ground. Dorothy is staring at me. What is it? You're not upset. You've been driven to the brink of collapse, and it's all Anike's doing. Yet you're not angry. Why is that? Because we're, we're both exhausted. What? I'm not tired in the slightest. I've told you, Nikkei's are different from humans. The heat does not affect me the same way it does with you. Your constitution is enviable. A human admiring a Nikkei's constitution. Sounds like something he would say. Who? Your previous commander? Was it Anderson? I'm still on to that point until I'm proven wrong. <laughs> Nothing. Dorothy stands up in a hurry. Let's get back to it. So soon? It'll get dark soon. We can't waste any more time. Alright. Dorothy starts picking up speed. I stand up and try to catch up with her. We walked and walked, but there was no sign of the radio tower Noah mentioned. Nor the white flowers that were supposed to be growing near it. All we can see are debris from collapsed buildings and red scrap metal. Oh, it's a scorcher today. My throat feels a bit dry. Do you need water? I hand over my water bottle to Dorothy. No. Nikkei's are not human. We don't need water. That doesn't mean you won't feel thirsty. I try to offer the bottle to Dorothy again. Don't worry, there's enough for the both of us. Very well. Dorothy takes the bottle. Feeling refreshed? Extremely. Thanks. I take back the bottle. I feel rejuvenated. We've walked quite a way and still there's no sign of it. Maybe Noah's eyes were playing tricks on her. Couldn't you ask Cecile for the coordinates of Noah's last assignment? I wouldn't want to bother her with such a frivolous request. How would I bother be bothering her? You two are squad mates. There's nothing wrong with asking her for a small favor. Squad mates. Cecile may be part of Eden, but she is a human. How could a human in an EK be on equal footing? You really despise humans, don't you? Dorothy sneers. Maybe, maybe not. What if I do? Are you going to quit being so nice to me? So you do hate humans? 
Yes. Is that not allowed? That's great. Huh? So long as you don't hate me. What kind of warped logic is that? Huh, what a strange human you are. You've laughed a lot today. Me? Laugh? Don't be absurd. And in front of a human. Dorothy. No, I must have made a mistake. Let's head back. What about the flower? Forget it. It's not that important. I'll find it eventually. Let's go. Dorothy stands up. It's then that I start to recall what Noah said. I was sure that I saw in the Arvadio Tower that was painted red. Give me a break, it's not like I didn't try. There was no time the moment I saw it, raptures were hot on her trail, tail, and we had to get out of dodge. Red Radio Tower encountered raptures. Huh? I look around. All around us are piles of red colored scraps of metal and broken antennas. I think I found it. You found what? Let's check over there. I lead Dorothy towards the piles of contorted metal scraps. I think this is the radio tower Noah was talking about. Huh? Noah told me that shortly after she saw the radio tower, they were ambushed by raptures. So? It was toppled during the fighting. That's my guess. If I'm right, it should be. I take a closer look at the debris. Underneath there is a barrel of visible patch- Barely visible patch of white flowers. Fortunately, not all the pillars collapsed, so some of the flowers are still preserved. Found it. It's really there. I stick my hand into the twisted pile of metal and try to reach the flowers. The debris is too much of a tangled mess and I come up short just by a hair. I can't reach them. I push and pull at some pieces of the debris. I gotta cut myself for this. If any piece of metal in the way starts to move, all we have to do is get this piece out of the way. Why are you doing all of this? What do you mean? Why are you going to so much trouble for these flowers? Don't you get it? I only brought you here to teach you a lesson. That was the whole point of bringing you out to the desert. I know, because I've been pestering you for the past few days, right? So you know the reason. Be that as it may, you really did want to find this flower, didn't you? What? You'll feel less lonely with it. Is that the only reason you're doing all of this? I pushed away the scrap metal. Did we actually not get cut? You put yourself in this position. I'm not lending a finger to help you. I know. I pushed the scrap harder. You do realize making a racket like that could attract raptures, don't you? Once they get near, they'll detect there's a human present. Are you okay with that? You'll protect me. What? I know you've got my back. I'll do no such thing. I'm not afraid. I will not protect you. To protect a human. What a fool. I finally get the offending piece of metal out of the way. <sighs> I stretch out my hand, reaching for the flowers. I pick one and give it to Dorothy. Is this the flower you after? Dorothy takes the flower. No. Not this. This isn't the flower I was looking for. It isn't. I am looking for a lily vice flower. Not some nondescript wild flower. It appears no I was mistaken. I see. This entire trip has been a waste of time. You worked up quite a sweat. Too bad. All of that hard work for nothing. Oh well. 
Is that all you have to say? Nothing else. What should I say? How about I just busted my hump and all you did was sit on your ass and watch? Not only did you not lift a finger to help, but you actively derided me. How can you be so ungrateful? Or some variation of that, peppered with a healthy dose of profanity throughout. There's no reason for me to be angry. Enough of this, Mr. Nice Guy Act. I know it's all just that, an act so that you can try and get close to me. You said you felt lucky that I was sick of all humans, but not you in particular. Well, let me tell you something. You're the one I despise. So stop following me around and bothering me. Have I made myself clear? You say that, but your face is telling me another story. Huh? Why are you pushing me away? You're forcibly convincing yourself that you have to hate humans. But deep down, you still want to have love for humans. You love them more than anyone else, and you want to be loved by them. Shut up. That love is still there, but you're trying to deny it, and that's the source of all your pain. That's why you feel so lonely. I said, shut up. Oh. How could someone like you understand me? You say I love humans. And that's all I want is to be loved. And that's been about me still being capable of love. Uh-huh. You've certainly got away with words. You should have gotten into poetry, not the military. The only thing is, you don't have the perspicacity required for a poet. I've never seen that word in my life. Dorothy points a gun at me. Dorothy points a gun at me. Tell me. While you people hid yourselves in the ark, we were created, living a peaceful and carefree existence. We've been up on the surface, fighting for our lives. You think raptures is all that we can kill? Think again. We're not like the Nikkei's inside the Ark. Nikkei's Hermedin can kill humans whenever they wish. Finally, you've shut your trap. Let's keep it that way. Don't try and comment on things you couldn't possibly understand. I don't need some bargain bin guardian angel. Having said that, you are still of some use to me, so I won't ditch you for now. Dorothy lowers her weapon. I've notified Isabel. She'll come to pick you up shortly. Go back to Eden with her. I no longer wish to be in your presence. Uh-huh. Dorothy drops the flowers on the ground and leaves. I gaze at the flower blankly. Later, Isabel arrives just as Dorothy said she would. Yellow. Commander, are you all right? I heard you and Dorothy went to the surface and Isabel brought you back. Word travels fast around here. Was there any issue with Dorothy? I'm not entirely sure myself. Commander, let me ask you something. Do you know what happened to the Goddess Squad when the Ark was first completed? When the Ark was just completed? Do you mean Operation Ark Guardian? What is Operation Art Guardian? That's the one. As far as I know, after all the remaining humans migrated to the Ark, the members of the Goddess Squad split up and went into hiding. No one knows what happened to them after the operation, not even if they're alive or dead. No one ever showed them an ounce of gratitude for what they did. It would appear so. The Ark was struggling at that time. The Nikes of the Goddess Squad were des designated as MIA. To this day, no one knows their whereabouts. I see. I remember my d desert sojourn with Dorothy. How about I just busted my hump and all you did was sit on your ass and watch? Not only did you not lift a finger to help, but you actively derided me. How can you be so ungrateful? What she said to us is what... You know, she wanted us to say to her, which is what she actually feels to all the humans in the Ark, essentially. Or some variation of that, 
coming with a healthy dose of profanity throughout. The way she saw it, I wasn't being recognized for my act of devotion towards her, so I deserved to be upset. How could someone like you understand me? You say I love humans, and that all I want is to be loved. And that bit about me still being capable of love. I can still see the pained expression on her face when she tried to deny it. I'm once again struck by Dorothy's sheer desolation. An image of her standing alone in that courtyard. All the records from that time no longer exist. I'm only going down memory and that's all I remember. Do you want me to look into it further? No, that's all I need. I already know what I need to say to her. I head to Eden to find Dorothy. Dorothy is standing in the sunlit courtyard as usual. All alone. You again. You crave for punishment. If I said yes, what would you do? Or perhaps you derive pleasure from irritating others. I'm here because I have something to say. You. To me. Yes. I think you said plenty out there by the tower. Don't think I won't shoot you just because we're here. Thank you. Huh? What is this? Thank you. For everything you've done for the Ark. It was your sacrifice that allowed us to survive in the first place. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. What are you talking about? What makes you think you should thank me for that? Is there something wrong with you? If I'd known what had happened back then, thanking you was the first thing I would have done. I may be a bit late, but I've come to thank you now. Huh. Uh-huh. You are thanking me. A bit late for that, wouldn't you say? Who do you think you are? You think you can stand in for the entire arc? No, I'm just one human being. Then what are you trying to say? You are nothing. You know nothing. We go for a little outing and suddenly you think you know everything about me. How could you possibly understand? My hatred, my anger. Trying to kiss up to me and fall in line, are you? What's the matter? Is Eden so great that you don't want to go back to the Ark? Or are you really afraid that I'd kill you? Is that why you're doing this? I'm merely saying what needs to be said, what should have been said long ago. No, stop it. Stop it. A mere human being. A mere human being. After all these years... What do you think you can change? You really think coming here with a look on your face... ...will magically make everything better? No, I don't. Then why? The fact remains, this is something that needs to be said. The only reason I'm alive today is because of the sacrifices you and Nikkei's made. It wouldn't be... I wouldn't be here if it weren't for the devotion you and the others showed. Your love for humanity is undeniable. Some way, somehow, I want to repay you. I don't need anything. From humans. Humans are cowards. Without Nikkei's, you're terrified of being killed by raptures. Without Nymph, you'd be terrified of being killed by Nikkei's. Uh, hello? Aren't we trying to get the Unchained to get rid of the Nymph for all the Nikkei's? I'm not terrified of Nikkei's possibly killing me. I want to save the Nikkei's and remove their nymph. I'm on your side, technically. If the Ark knew what I was going to be doing, they would try to get me killed. Literally. Nothing but a sniveling bunch of cowards. Yes, we are cowards. It's in our nature. You can criticize us all you want. Call us hypocrites, call us whatever you want. It doesn't change the fact that it's thanks to you and your fellow Nikkei 
that humans cowardly as we may be are still alive today. Liar. Liar, liar, liar. I don't want to hear any more of this. If you don't go, then I will. Satisfy now. You should be. Dorothy leaves. Dorothy is standing in the courtyard. This place was built in lockstep with her vision. Tranquility and drought is placed so completely that it's easy to forget the strife that's still taking place up on the surface. Dorothy basks in the warm main sunlight that she always longed for. She has everything she could possibly want here, and the horrors of war no longer perturb her. She resides in a place that is nearly everything she ever dreamed of. But she is still lonely. Much to her consternation, there is still a chill in the air that so stubbornly clings to her. It wasn't like this the last time I went for a walk. Dorothy is referring to the human a few days ago. Who has occupied her every thought since. Hey! A commander very similar to her former commander. A person who reminds her of the past whenever they are together. A guest of Eden and a good worker. An outsider from the Ark. A liar that poisons the minds of others with duplicitous... Duplicitous words. A parasite that latches onto those in his vicinity. A human. Hello. I wanted to say goodbye before I go back to the Ark. This will probably be the last time I talk to you in edit. Just try not to be alone all the time. To welcome others into your heart is to truly step into the sunlight. Do you ever stop babbling? Goodbye. The human turns and walks away, leaving Dorothy behind. Dorothy doesn't turn around. She doesn't want to see the look in their face. She walks forward. But deep down, you still want to have love for humans. Dorothy stops. You love them more than anyone else, and you want to be loved by them. It was your sacrifice that allowed us to survive in the first place. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You liar. Thank you. For everything you've done for the Ark. Lies. All of it. They're just trying to get close to me. So that he can use the power that I have. So that they can stay in Eden. So that I'll help them. Because they are all cowards. Yes, we are cowards. It's in our nature. Dorothy's memories come rushing back. The day of her first victory as an Ike. A small child had timidly approached her with a bunch of flowers. Cheers rang out in the background. The child was beside herself with nervousness, and after taking a deep breath, looked up to Dorothy, took her hands and said, Thank you. You saved our lives. God is the victory in case. Thank you, Dorothy. Torrents of praise was showered upon her. Yes, she once loved them. She once loved everything about humans. Their inherent inability to survive on their own. Their cowardice. She once wanted to protect them. Wanted to save them from evil threats that meant them harm. That was what she lived for, once upon a time. All the more reason to not forgive them now. Be that as it may, you really did want to find this flower, didn't you? You'll feel less lonely with it. In the past, she acted out of love. Dorothy turns around. That human who reeks of hypocrisy. That craven and gutless wretch. Humans. Those poor defenseless creatures she once wanted to protect. Have come back to Eden, the very place she had sworn to protect. Staring at the figure fading into the distance, she says, You're right. You win. 
In my heart, I can still find love. Dorothy. And then she turns around. No, keep going. Goodbye. My dear. Dorothy walks forward. Once a stone begins to tumble down a hill, it cannot be stopped easily. It will roll and roll until it eventually falls into the hole that will be its new home. She will never stop. Not until she finds a place she can call home. Goodbye. No matter how much she yearns to be loved, no matter how alluring the person she encounters, she will not stop. Isn't that right? Pina. Before these wings carry you back to the Ark, they will first fly towards paradise. Uh-huh. So, did she call us here? I'm assuming so, right? I mean, that's a lot more than I thought we'd get from her. <laughs> but she still thinks to Pina. So, before she can come back to the Ark, she needs to find paradise? Places she can truly call home? I mean, she can call uh, being with us home, technically. Now, what's going to be happening in chapter 22? Yeah, it's very interesting what's happening currently in 22. Just seeing the map, I know things are going to be interesting. And what happened at the end of 21. So yeah, I can look forward to that. Now, can I beat chapter 22's boss? Who knows? I... It's gonna be a pain. Either way, thank you so much for watching Dorothy's story. And with that, we are going to be doing chapter 21 next? Because that is, in fact, done. Though, let's just say that I was... I did stop myself from talking about certain things at the end of 21 because I wasn't sure if I was going to upload it before the event. But since I didn't, then that kind of uh, ruined the moment a little bit. Because <sighs> now I've completely forgot what I was going to be talking about. But either way, I'll see you guys on uh, 21, then 22. And I'll try my hardest not to summon for Blonde when she's available. I'm gonna try really hard. Will I succeed? Who knows? Cause my god, I want that bunny girl so bad. I'm pretty sure it's Blonde because they're showing her on Twitter. They wouldn't show Anike on Twitter if she wasn't a banner. Then again, they're showing Noir, so that means that maybe... Well, they haven't shown Noir. She was Noir's in the uh, event's image. So who knows? Maybe Noir's gonna be NPC jailed. I hope not for the people that want her. But yeah. It's gonna be uh, very interesting trying to survive through the entire event duration without pulling for her. And now, do I want the New York collab to happen after that event? Hell no. I want there to be another event before the New York collab. For me to possibly have enough gems for maybe... Along with the tickets we get from this event and then the other event. Uh, 14? 10 shots? 15? Even that I don't think is enough. But yeah, either way, till then I will see you guys later.